Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage, and today we're going to be talking about FPV crate for April 2021. Want to see what's inside this box? And you're going to have to stick around. April FPV Crate 2021 finally in my hands. It took a little while to get here. It kind of got misrouted and took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. And I, I don't know. When I was checking the tracking, it kind of went somewhere else. And then it kind of came back and then went somewhere else wrong. And then the tracking said it couldn't read the, the label. So they had to reprint. There's like a second label attached here on top of my first label. And then it still took a while to come here. And I know it's really late, but we got to go through these. So it's finally arrived. Got it in my hands here. We will be going through it shortly. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring you all up in close. We're going to unbox this thing, take a look at what's inside, give you my genuine reactions, you know, live and in person. I don't open it up and play with it and then put it back in the box and talk about it. No, I give you what, you know, I'm straight up with you guys. Then we're going to do a cost analysis to really see what's in the box, how much did it cost, what's it worth, and all that fun stuff. And then we'll go through these items and just talk about them and give you my general thoughts. But before we do any of that, make sure you slam that subscribe button while you're at it, hit that bell icon. Makes finding my videos a whole heck of a lot easier. It helps support the channel and it keeps you in the know when I post videos such as this one. And if you've noticed, we have hit that 3,000 subscriber mark. So thank you for all of you who have subscribed already. We will be doing something to celebrate that. It will be some sort of a giveaway or something that will be coming very, very soon. I just got to really figure out what I want to give away. But that is a very big milestone and I appreciate each and every one of you. So please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really, it's right there. Go hit it. I'll wait. No, I'm just kidding, man. Let's let's get to this. Come on in. Bam! FPV crate drone subscription. All right. So it looks like they've changed up the box a little bit. Uh, primarily that it didn't come in that poly bag thing anymore. Like my shipping label and stuff was like directly on the outside. By the way, you can see where it like added that second shipping label on top of the first one because it couldn't read it. But uh, it wasn't in that poly bag it usually gets. It just came right like this naked so let's dig in we give it the little flipperoo we're going to cut that oh so buttery oh there it is ah uh, i mean if you haven't yet got you gotta experience cutting these stickers man they are freaking insane all right we give that pre-open a little bit there we break this open like this and then we send it All right, so we have our little spoiler alert. So I'm gonna take that away just in case there's anything there. And let's take a look at the sticker sheet. That is pretty cool. I definitely like it, these big scenes on here. And if you look, this is a sticker here. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. This one's a sticker. And it looks like the guy is a sticker. So that's pretty cool feel like there's a little bit of real estate that could have been used because I mean sometimes these scenes are pretty cool but it's also cool when they just have like a couple like all like little stickers cut out instead of just a scene but it's still really cool all right let's get digging so we got some props here they say FPV crate on them the HQ prop brand here there is no sticker so it looks like basically they have custom FPV crate bags for HQ prop props so let's take a closer look and see what these are they are the hq props they are the r35s which are their racing props they're 5.1 inch and they're a pitch of 35 so these would be 51 35s and they are hq prop brand in this nice kind of smoky gray color i just you know if i had to pick uh, be nitpicky i just wish there was a little sticker on here that had that information so i wouldn't have to go looking at the hub of the prop because you know if these are my gear bag i don't really know what i got here so i don't have to take a marker i'm gonna have to write on the back you know it'd be nice if there was just a little sticker on there something simple like that 
All right, moving on, we have, let's see what we got here. We got the Lumineer, we got the Antenna, looks like an Axi 2, or an Axi, yeah. So, that's kind of cool, little Lumineer Axi Antenna. Can't complain with that. And we got, we got some Team Black Sheep action, looks like a VTX, yeah, it's a TBS Unify Pro. High volt with the SMA connector, pretty cool. Digging that always. I mean, come on. If you, if you want to talk VTX is, you know, the freaking the Unify. Good stuff. Uh, looks like we got a T-shirt, and that will wrap it up. So let's open up this T-shirt and see what it looks like. So right off the bat, even before I took it out of the bag, but before I even open it, Gildan Brand baby. So these are you know quality shirts. I'm happy to see you know brand name on the shirt. That makes me happy. So let's open this up. That is pretty cool. The FPV Explorer. Let me get this into frame here so you can see what we got going on. The FPV Explorer. I mean, how cool would that be? Having a freaking drone with like freaking jets and stuff. I mean, that's pretty crazy. And like a laser coming out. Who knows? Who knows where the future may bring us in this hobby. All right. So to recap, we have the T-shirt. We have the Illuminaire Axi Antenna. We got the TBS Unify VTX. We got ourselves three sets of props and we have ourselves a sticker sheet. All right, let's run some numbers and see how this box checks out. All right, guys, I ran the numbers and this box is pretty darn sweet. So let's take a look at those numbers right now. So as you can see, first off, we got these HQ props, the R35s, they're great props, they're HQ brand, tried and true. Uh, basically, it's just an FPV crate bag. It uh, doesn't matter because it's HQ props on the inside. Like I said, I just wish there was a little sticker on here so that I'd know what I have if I just pull these out. I, I don't want to have to take out a prop and then look at the little engraving on the actual uh, prop itself. It'd be nice to just have it right on the bag. But nonetheless, excellent props. So I'm super happy to have got those. Next up, we have the Lumineer Axi 2 antenna. Phenomenal antenna. I love these antennas. I don't know what else to say. They're freaking a great antenna, very rugged, very durable, and you know, they're, they're quality antenna. So there's no complaints from me there. And what good is an antenna without a great VTX to back it up? So the Unify Pro, the only thing I, if I had to pick one thing, about the the unifies is that they aren't the mmcx connector for the pigtail that goes to the sma they are the uh, u.fl or the ipx um connectors however uh tbs does have like the little bar that like screws it down so it can't actually pop off so they have worked around that so instead of it you know i i personally prefer the mmcx connector which kind of just snaps in. it's a more rugged connector but they've definitely done their you know innovations by putting a little clamp that makes it so you can't pop off the pigtail that's really the only complaint that i could pull out about the unifies because they are awesome uh vtx's they're they're my go-to um and i just love them i mean they're quality they're they work <laughs> and they're i don't know i don't know what else to say about them but other than that it was freaking awesome and then this freaking shirt, dark color. You always hear, I mean, dark color t-shirts, that's my thing. And you know, the graphics on this is cool. I mean, the print on this is great. I don't have any problems. I don't see any of that overspray that we once had long, long, long ago. It's Gildan brand shirt. So I got no complaints or qualms with this box whatsoever. And as you see, as we come down here, there is some definite value. Now, if you're new around in the channel, Basically, my guideline is about $20 or 25% over the cost of the box, whichever comes first. And you can see here, we're at $30 over the cost of this box and like 33, yes, 33% over what you paid. So this is what I would consider a very good value box because you're basically saving 33% on your money. And not only is it that you're saving 33% on what you paid versus what you got, but I really don't think anyone can complain about these products. Like sometimes you'll get products in these boxes and you'll be like, well, you know, someone may not like this, I might, but you, but I really don't see how anyone can complain about R35 props from HQ getting a TBS Unify and getting an Axiant. I mean, well, maybe if you're using like DJI, then maybe you might not be happy because this is analog. 
But other than that, I don't see how anyone else would um, really complain. Because, I mean, me, I'm not on DJI. I use analog. And this is great stuff for me. I'm happy. Got good value, good products. And I got really nothing bad to say about that. So normally at this point is when I would be doing a comparison to quad box. But since FPV Cray is really the only uh, box in town right now, what I like to do instead is do more of a running total of what's going on with FPV Crate. So let's take a look at that. So if you're new around here, let me give you a quick tour of what this chart shows. So that first line that's grayed out, that's what's going on from July 2019 until the end of 2019. This is what I'm calling the honeymoon period. It's grayed out because it won't be figured into our calculations because this is prior to COVID and COVID had a pretty big impact in our hobby in general. As well, this is sort of when FPV Crate was first coming out to the market. I think they were just trying to give a lot of good value to get a lot of people excited and subscribing because you can see with five months worth of boxes, we got a little over $200. The whole 2020, 12 months were, you know, maybe like 70 bucks higher. So you can see that there's definitely a very big distinction. So I'm just not gonna count that. I'm gonna call it the honeymoon period. If you wanna do some math, there's your numbers. But anyway, we move on. The next line there is what happened in 2020 from January through to December. Then the next line is what is going on in 2021, starting in January up until this box month, which is April. We have the running total there of what's been saved across all of the boxes from 2021 and 2020 so it's basically everything from january 2020 again we're not counting that honeymoon period and we have how much average per box we received as well as the percent that we received um, off the cost of what we've paid so you can see that this is definitely bringing us more into an upswing now what i've done is i've I'm sort of projecting what the outlook of 2021 will look like. Now, again, these are just my mathematical opinion. So we can take a look at that down below here and you can see that this, bo this box particular boosted our numbers up. What I'm doing here is I'm really just taking what we received in 2021, divided it up and then multiplied it by 12 months to get an idea so that if what we've received so far is a representation of what we will receive for the whole year these would be the numbers that we can expect to get and th this box particular boosted these numbers up so that is definitely a good thing it looks like we're definitely on an upswing hopefully future boxes will contain more and better and you know stuff like that because if the boxes continue like this i will be a happy tronage that is for sure Ultimately, I think that this is a good sign because I was very worried that without there being any kind of competition, that there was the possibility that FBV Crate might say, hey, you know, what's the point? Why, why do we got to try? They may, you know, start phoning it in, not giving good value. And, you know, where else are you going to go if this is what you want? And that clearly is not the case with this box. They're actually providing us with some great value. And I am super excited um, for this box. Like I said, the only the only people I can see complaining is people who use DJI because this would be this doesn't work for you. You need you need, this is analog. Other than that, though, if you're on analog like I am, I really can't think of a single thing wrong with this box. So as I always say, though, just because this box is amazing doesn't mean every box will be amazing. It, you know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And this is definitely one of those times that it is good. So if you are thinking of subscribing to the FPV crate, please go down in the description. There will be an affiliate link. Please, please use that affiliate link. It would mean the world to me. All right. So as always, my name's Tronage. Fly strong.